In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up Google Meet inside of Google Classroom so that you can meet with your students online and conduct online meetings, web conferencing, whatever you want to call it. You can see the students and teach them and interact with them face to face. The first thing you need to do to get this set up is to go into a particular class. This is a change that's made on a class by class basis. So here I am in my fifth grade class. And I'm just going to jump to the Classwork tab. You don't have to, but I just want you to see that I have a Meet button here on my Classwork page. Now the reason I can add this here is because my school has a G Suite for Education account. And I believe you would still have this in G Suite for Business as well. But in regular Google accounts that aren't tied to some organization that has opted in to a G Suite account, you may not have the ability to do what I'm going to show. But anyway, I have a button here that I can use to quickly get in and have an online web conference with my students. Before you do this though, you need to go here to the settings button and browse down a ways and look in the general section toward the bottom it should say Google Meet. And this may need to be enabled in your account first, so if you don't have an option to enable it, you might want to talk to your school administrator or technology people at your school or district to see if that can get enabled for you. In my case, all I have to do is click Generate Meet Link. And it produces for me a link that is unique not just to me as a Google user, but it's unique to this exact class inside of my Google Classroom account. Underneath the link, there's a switch that I can use to turn it off or on, at least for students. Students will be able to see it if it's on, they won't if it's turned off. So I want them to be able to see it. And all I have to do now is click on the link that was generated, and there's an option to either reset the link or copy the link. Every so often, you may want to reset the link. But in my case, I'm just going to copy it. And now I could email this link out to the principal, to another teacher at the school, maybe that I'm mentoring, or maybe we're co-teaching a class. I could invite that other teacher to join me in this Google Meet session that we're going to have using this link. So you have to guard this link pretty carefully because people that have that link will be able to join your online session, even if they're not in your class. Just click Save. And now that same Meet button that I saw on my Classwork tab is ready to go, and my students will be able to join me in a Google Meet session. Now it's also listed on the Stream tab and page. If I click on Stream, you can see here is the link to my Google Meet. So using either method, I can just click to get into my Google Meet session. At this point, I get some pop-ups asking for permission to access my microphone and camera. I'm using Google Chrome in this tutorial, and that's why it looks the way it does. If you use a different browser, these pop-ups may look a little different. They might be bars across the top or bottom of the screen. And there are other ways that browsers present these questions to users. So just watch out for those. But if you really want to use Google Meet, even inside of Google Classroom, you're going to have to click Allow. So at this point, if my computer camera weren't damaged, you'd be able to see me here in the window. And also my voice is being transmitted through the Google Meet session. You'll notice that I'm also getting a pop-up asking to show notifications. It may be a good idea to do that. It might help you get notified when different things happen inside of Google Meet. In my case, I'm just going to X out of it. If I want to turn off my camera, I can. I can also turn off the microphone if I want to. And then I can just click Join Now. And at this point, it gives me information that I can share with my students so that they can join me in Google Meet. Here we have the meeting nickname. And below that, we have a link to the Google Meet session. Below that, we have a dial-in phone number for people that may need to or want to join by phone only. It is also possible to add specific people to your Google Meet session by clicking here on Add People. But that could be kind of time-consuming. So I'm just going to click Copy Joining Info. Now back in my Google Classroom, I can click on Classwork, and I could create a new assignment for the students to join me in a Google Meet session, but often it makes more sense to instead just invite them by creating a material. So I'll click on Material. I'll title this Friday Google Meet Session, and then in the description, I'll simply paste the Google Meet joining info that I had copied. Click Post, and now my students should see 
this new material in their account. Now I can go back into Google Meet and wait for my students to join me. Here in the students account, you can see the new material has been posted on the stream page and also is available on the classwork page here. The student can click the link to enter the room, again allowing the different pop-ups, and then the student can click ask to join. Back in the teacher account, you can see the teacher is notified someone wants to join this meeting. The teacher can decide to deny entry or admit. I'll click admit. And now I can have my Google Meet session with my students. If all of the students and people attending your Google Meet session are from your same school and they're joining the Google Meet session using their official school email address, you may not have to one by one deny and accept their entry into the Google Meet. Now it's important that you're aware that when using Google Meet, the teacher must be in the Google Meet session before the students. The students cannot join without the teacher being in the room. I do want to give you an important heads up though, and that is, after you've conducted your meeting with your students, it's important that you be the last one to exit the room. So you need to wait until all the students leave the room, or if you're ready to just end it yourself, you can manually remove each of those students, but you need to be the last one in the room and then close out of it. If you don't do that, students could stay in the room after you've left, and that could potentially be a dangerous or inappropriate situation. So definitely watch out for that. And you can learn more about that in the Google Classroom settings. If you go down to Google Meet, there's the Learn More link, and it talks about what I just told you. It also has some information for people that may be G Suite customers but don't see Google Meet in Gmail. So this is an important notice to read through and be familiar with. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up Google Meet for Google Classroom. I hope that you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. Bye.